So is the S21 Plus really worth it? Why should I maybe go for the S21 Plus instead of the S21 Ultra? And is Samsung about done with all the gimmicks and are down to real functionality now? There's only one way to find out. Keep watching. That, 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 that rhythm. Welcome to the Tech City Gadget Review today. I am Belarus Okoje from Tech City. And today I'll be reviewing in detail the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. If you're ready, then I'm ready. We're all ready. When you get a device, what's the first thing that you want to do? You want to show it off, right? Like, show it off, show off this device. It is made of glass, both front and back. And I honestly think, yet again, that the phantom black color is the best. Now, there are other colors. There's phantom gray, phantom violet, uh, phantom pink, which is only available in North Korea, and some customized colors that are available on Samsung.com colorways, phantom red and uh, phantom gold. Now, with regards to the Corning Gorilla Glass Victors that the front and back panels of the phone are made with, Samsung was looking at making these devices scratchless. That's why they use Corning Gorilla Glass Victors and all of that. So I put the phone in my back. Bag, um, in the compartment where I have like my keys, my ATM card, glasses, flash drive. <laughs> and while it was in that place with all those other things, I didn't see any scratch at all. And I think that they scored one with the Corning Gorilla Glass Victors that of course makes the device scratch less. However, I need to say that the material makes the phone glide on your fabric. I would have to be careful so it doesn't just slip and fall to the floor. So you want to be very careful about that. It stays well on hard surface as it should. Still on the design and the material that was used in creating this device, I want to also mention that it is not a fingerprint magnet, thankfully. If you have sweaty palms and maybe you sometimes worry about having your fingerprint, it is worthy of note that the material makes your sweat marks dry up really fast, in, in seconds in fact. So that's one for the team. Now away from design, let us go down to actual functionality. So with regards to display on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, it is a 6.7 inch flat FHD plus dynamic AMOLED two times screen phone with an infinity O display, 2400 by 1080p with a near bezel-less full frontal screen. It also displays 394 pixels per inch and has got an HDR10 plus certified and 120 hertz refresh rate. That is impressive. Now, on to the one thing that I got the most questions about, the camera. Bella, how functional is the camera? Is it better than the you know, 20, you know, 20 Ultra? Is it better than other devices? I'm gonna break this one down for you because I was really busy with the camera just for you. So with regards to the camera, the camera quality is great and it took using it for a few days to actually admit it. So I use a Note 20 and I'm already used to the camera feature on my phone. But when I handle the S21 Plus, posting pictures on Instagram became something I looked forward to. <laughs> I was happy to post on Instagram. <laughs> this is brought to you by the S21 Plus. It was a thing of pride. <laughs> But let's not get down to the full detail. The detail on the S21 Plus 10 megapixels selfie camera, yo, it is great. Now I don't know that Samsung really emphasized on the optical image stabilization feature on this device because I was taking pictures with my nephew and my niece and my nephew was all over the place, but I was still able to get him and the blur was not bad at all it wasn't it wasn't awful or anything like that it was still very very great to look at so that's one thing i believe i need to mention in this the front facing camera ois is top notch also there is something very cinematic about the front facing video camera right i mean it's just the camera but the video recording feature it is very cinematic it gives you an immersive feeling there's a kind of bounce that the camera quality comes with that will really really help if you are maybe a vlogger for instance and you're trying to just capture people maybe who are in the background or you're trying to just capture the um essence of whatever it is you're trying to document i think it is really really handy here 
Now, still on the selfie camera of the S21 Plus, the portrait mode, which was formerly known as Live Focus feature, um, on this device works so impressively. I took a picture and shared on Instagram. The entire studio was dark, and I had just my laptop in front of me, and it was just the light, and my light on my laptop was not even maxed out. And I used the portrait mode, you guys. It was so impressive. I thought to myself, what it performs really well in dimly lit conditions so that's definitely a win now of course the camera also comes with the usual suspects the super slow-mo your slow motion um and the likes and and yo there is also a director's cut feature i'll tell you more about that in a bit but before then let me go on to the back facing camera on the s21 plus ultra so it's got three cameras right the first is a 12 megapixels ultra wide angle lens the second is a 12 megapixels wide angle lens and the third is a 64 megapixels telephoto lens so there is what is called the space zoom lens that has a hybrid optic zoom three times and super resolution zoom of up to 30 times features now i had to test out this feature because you know, they really talked about this. They emphasized on this at the launch. And I said, I need to try this. And so I went outside. I looked at a car that was really quite far from me. Took a picture of the car and zoomed on the plate number. And what do you know? The plate number came out pretty clear. I thought that was a win. I'm like, ah, I'll be using this one, definitely. Now, beyond that, however, I need to say that in my unreserved, unsolicited opinion, I don't think that Samsung has anything to prove anymore with the camera quality on their devices because why they have set the pace, set the record, broken the record and they are light years ahead of everybody, fruits included. And even more, the food feature is deliciously detailed. If you're a food blogger or just a foodie, the food feature on the camera of the S21 Plus will come in very, very handy, taking really vibrant pictures of your food, whether it's small chops or big chops and stuff like that. Now, away from picture taking, let's talk about video recording. Ooh. So the video recording feature of the camera is very elite, for lack of a better word. And here's why. The S21 has advanced recording options, HEVC HDR10+, and a zoom-in microphone, which I'm coming to. It also has a video stabilization feature. So the S21 Plus does 8K video recording at 24 frames per second. Um, that's 7680 by 4320. And of course, it records super slow-mo and slow-mo as well as time lapse. And now to the director's cut feature. This is one of the things that Samsung really emphasized on. And I think the best way to explain this is to show you. So here it goes. So essentially, you can record yourself in the video and decide which scene from any of the lenses you want added to your video. This will come in very handy for filmmakers and anyone who wants to do stuff like short films or whatever with their smartphones. I think this is going to be incredibly resourceful. Yo, let's talk performance um, on the S21 Plus. So I thought to myself, if sticks and stones don't break you, what of apps? So I downloaded apps I did not need, apps I needed just to see how this thing would bend or break. And it performed very valiantly, if I may add. So I downloaded Need for Speed, I downloaded Asphalt. So while I was maybe downloading something on one hand, I would also be playing a game on the other hand. While I was, was downloading updates, I'm like, you know, I'm going to go all in with this one it did get a bit warm but it was not alarming in any way it was just like you know normal stuff like <laughs> dead off your shoulder it still performed very well there was no lag no lag at all the graphics are also amazing we talked about display at the start and i love how they look and of course how they sound if you use your music or your games ah uh, you'll get lost in it i promise So, is your Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus water resistant? Samsung says, it sure is. Yes, it is rated IP68, and they recommend that um, it can be submerged in water of up to 1.5 meters for about 30 minutes. They also advise you not to take it to the pool or to the beach. Don't say Bella Rose did not tell you, okay? <laughs> So about securing your S21 Plus, you could do that either by setting a password, a PIN, or a pattern, as well as biometrics, 
fingerprint and face recognition storage space let's go there so storage on the galaxy s21 plus comes at a standard eight gigabytes of ram so regardless of um the device with internal memory that you get the ram is the same across board eight gigabytes all right but it comes at either 128 or 256 gigabytes of internal storage and that's impressive battery on the s21 plus is 4800 milliamp hour and i was able to use this for about um a day and a half without needing to actually charge it but it was just more about using social media and playing games on the device and recording videos and taking pictures and going over them again and again and again so it lasted me about a little over a day now before i go the s pen does not work on the s21 plus <laughs> i tried it it did not work so that definitely tells us that the S Pen will only work on the S21 Ultra. So yeah, there's that. A few things I will definitely miss, the Edge feature, but on the Ultra, it is there. I can't wait to get into the Ultra to share with you what my reviews are about the device. So the recommended retail price of the S21 Plus is... And do I think it's worth it? Absolutely it is. Particularly if you are a creative or if you're someone who just really likes functional devices, the device is absolutely functional. It does a lot of things that um, you actually need. So it's not gimmicks. It's not like, oh, well, you know, this does exist and we'll not really use it. <laughs> no, Samsung is so past that. These are things that you would absolutely need and you would search for because you want to use. And the picture quality is so unrivaled. The audio as well, superb. So yeah, it gets a five star. 5.5 stars brick scale or jazz scale <laughs> no i'm posh and that's been my review of the samsung galaxy s21 plus thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that it had all the information that you needed on it um Big shout out to everyone who left a comment on Instagram and on YouTube asking for a few things to be checked out. We totally appreciate that. So please subscribe to the channel, especially if you found what you're looking for. Like, why, why, why wouldn't you subscribe? You came, you saw, you conquered, you got updated and informed. So it's just a simple tip, tap, and that's it. Belarus from Texas saying thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.